So are you ready to start making money? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you eight ways to make money with your camera. If you have a camera, you have a smartphone, you have a GoPro, this is a video for you. So there are actually many ways to make money with your camera, more than just the eight that I'm gonna talk about inside this video. But I wanna give you eight things that you can do to start making money today. Number one is YouTube. Yes, you can make money with YouTube. I'm doing it right now. Now, I'm not saying you have to do YouTube videos, but YouTube is a great platform. If you have a camera, start shooting videos, start making money. Now, the way you make money with YouTube videos is through Google AdSense. And in order to get that, in order to get that revenue stream, you have to have a channel that has over 10,000 views on it. Now, if you're not there yet, no big deal, you will get there, but in the meantime, use affiliate marketing, sell products, sell courses, sell services. By doing that, you can make a great income straight from YouTube itself. The second way to make money with your camera is to sell stock photography or videos. This is something you can do over on Video Blocks, and there's other websites out there as well that do this exact same thing. The reason why I mention video blocks is because that is something that I personally use. I love video blocks. I put a lot of their footage, their you know images inside some of my videos and so it makes it very easy. As a YouTube creator, I don't have time to go and do all this B-roll. I don't have time to do all this other stuff. So I go to video blocks and I get stock photography and stock video footage and just add it into my stuff. So if you wanna make some money, go sell your photos and videos to video blocks and you will see you can start making some money. It's very easy and again, you don't have to be a professional to start making money. Number three is to create a blog. This is something that a lot of people don't completely understand, but when you create a blog or a website, okay, I use those blog and website kind of interchangeably, but they're pretty much the exact same thing. What you need to understand is you do not have to sell a product or a service. You can put Google AdSense on your site and when people come there and click on those ads to maybe go to Canon or to Sony or wherever, you can start making money. So it's a great way to actually make money by taking photos, by taking videos. You put your images, your, your videos on your site. People come to your site to see it. It is unique, it's different, it is you. And then maybe they click on ad, maybe they buy a product, maybe they buy the exact same camera that you are using to shoot those pictures. If that's the case, and you are doing affiliate marketing, which I highly recommend, you can make some great money. Method number four to make money with your camera is to do things like weddings, do portraits, do ceremonies, and stuff like that, birthdays. A lot of times, people that are having a graduation, or a birthday, or even a wedding, want professional photos done, but they can't afford a professional to come and do them. If that's the case, and you are just getting started, all you need to do is put your services out there. Put out feelers, put that on Facebook, let your friends and family know. You wanna sell your services, you wanna sell yourself as a photographer. You wanna go out there and make your great videos, you wanna make professional pictures. You wanna do all this stuff, that's great, that's perfect, do it. All you have to do is put those feelers out there. Facebook is a great place to do it. Like I said, mention it to your friends and family, what you wanna do, and at some point, someone's be like, oh, I need to get my pictures done. Hey, this person does it. You know, they told me they want to get into you know photography or they have all the equipment so give them a call it is that simple method number five to make money with your camera is to become an influencer this is somebody that when they say you know i'm using this camera everybody that watches it or a lot of people go out and buy it they are an influencer they influence you to make a decision that they recommend so somebody that I just want to you know kind of point out because if you want to make money with your camera with your you know pictures with videos one guy to follow is Peter McKinnon. I'll put his his YouTube channel link in the description box below so you can go check him out. But this is somebody that he has great pictures, he has great videos, he has you know quality content all the time. So when a million people who are following him over here on YouTube are subscribed to his channel, when he recommends you, you need to get these presets or you need to get this you know, new camera or you need to use this lens, people go out and buy it. So by becoming an influencer somewhere out there, whether it's through your website, through Facebook, through YouTube, through some other social media platform, you can make a lot of money 
both through affiliate marketing, by doing sponsorships, paid product placements. There are so many ways for you to make money. So if you wanna make a lot of money, do all the stuff that I'm saying, but try to become an influencer because the amount of money you can make doing that is absurd for the amount of work that you actually put in. If you take pictures, you probably take a bunch with your phone, right? Well, a lot of people wanna get into taking pictures, putting just quality content on their Facebook page, on Instagram, on Twitter, wherever, but they don't have access to that type of quality. So what you can do, which is number six on my list, is become an Instagram photo creator. That's simply somebody that goes out there, creates just magical photos, you know, puts, does all the stuff on Lightroom, does all these edits, you know, makes them just perfect and sells them to people. You can make a lot of money doing this because there's a lot of people out there, influencers and celebrities and other people like that, that don't have the time to create these specific images. So what you can do is you just sell them to them. You create these specifically for Instagram or Facebook or wherever, and you sell them to those people. It's actually not that difficult. Once you get in the door and once you start creating these, people are gonna recommend you. So it's pretty much word of mouth as you grow bigger and bigger. I know this because I have a friend that did the exact same thing. Started out just doing photos from his iPhone. I think he had an iPhone you know, 5C or something at the time. Started with that and worked his way up. Maybe you have this just perfect camera. It's the best camera out there, whatever, okay, perfect. But you just don't know how to make any money. Well, number seven, something that I actually have experience with because I helped my friend do it, is we put together a photography class. He knows all about how to run this DSLR camera. I didn't know, okay? He knew all that stuff, so he was teaching me. And I told him, you know what? You should teach a class. You should create a course, whatever you want to do. He decided, okay, I'm going to put a class together. I'm going to do a local class. I'm going to open it up inside my home for 20 people. You know, 20 people, that's probably more than, you know, is going to show up. But for 20 people, guess what happened? So he put a bunch of flyers out at local college. He put a bunch of flyers out at a Starbucks or a bunch of different Starbucks. And then he put an ad on Facebook. Okay. He didn't even pay for this. He just put it out there to a local, you know, Facebook page, whatever. And a bunch of people signed up. He had 20 people sign up probably within about six to eight hours. Okay, of him putting the Facebook ad. So who knows how they really heard of him, but hey, six to eight hours, everybody signed up, 20 spots. He charged $20 at the door, you know, at his house, came in, so $400, he ran a three hour class on how to operate your DSLR camera. That was it, three hours. Three hours is more than enough time to teach exactly how you do all these different features. You know, teach you step by step, start taking pictures, doing all the stuff, showed a little bit of edits, showed how you do this stuff in Premiere Pro, how you do this stuff in Photoshop, how you do some you know quick little touch-ups in Lightroom, all that stuff, which was great. All, everybody, myself included, which, which I was there, learned a lot of stuff and would gladly pay $20 to learn all that stuff again, because it was worth it. So if you want to make money, you have a great camera, but you don't want to do all those other things, create a class, create a local class, or create a course and start selling that to people. If you watch me here on my YouTube channel, you're gonna see I talk a lot about courses, whether it's courses directly related to making money online or courses that are completely different. I sell a lot of courses and the reason why is because they work. They make money and they're passive. And method number eight, out of the ways to make money with your camera. This is something that you probably heard of people doing, but there's a lot of money in it. And that is becoming a photographer to the real estate brokers and agents in your area. One thing that I found out is that a lot of brokers, a lot of agents, don't have a fancy camera. They're all standing over there in the corner of the houses, you know, front door with their iPhone taking pictures, and that's fine. But do you know what sells a house best? Is a quality photo. When your finger is in the picture, when it's blurry, when you're taking pictures on a rainy day, you can't get an aerial shot, all this stuff. It all adds up. So when you're selling a $500,000 piece of property, or a $250,000 studio apartment, whatever it is. You need to have quality photos. People will pay big bucks to have photos done the right way, professional photos. So when you come in with more than just your iPhone, you come in with a DSLR, you come in with you know, whatever it is, a full frame camera, you can make a lot of money because not only do you understand how to take pictures, you probably understand how you do any of the edits, how you do any of the 
the post production stuff. And so by doing that, you can make more money. These are things for real estate agents and brokers don't have any time for. They're worried about selling houses. They don't want to learn how to use Lightroom and Photoshop and maybe they're doing a video and they're going to use Premiere Pro or you know whatever other software that might be out there. But they don't have time for that. They will gladly pay somebody $500, $1,000 to get all that stuff done for them. Let's say you have a drone. If you have a drone that takes professional photos, you got you know, some aerial shot that's what they want they want people to understand you know maybe it's a large property and they need to let you know okay this is how big it is well you can't get that you can't understand the the size of a property when you're taking a photo with your iphone standing in the corner of it you need an aerial shot for that so if you have a drone that is a great way to make an additional income all right, so these are the eight ways that you can make money with your camera. If you have any other methods that you can think of off the top of your head, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, want more videos similar to this, please smash that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.